Hi again guys, so we've got another drag spec tune for you today, and this time it's for a reasonably popular car, one of the most popular estate cars on GT6, it's the Nissan, not sure how it's pronounced, I've been told it's pronounced Stagia, but sounds kind of retarded to me, so I generally call it the Stager, because it makes more sense. I'm probably wrong, but I don't really care. So you want racing soft tyres as usual, for suspension, we've got a ride height on 120 front and rear, Springs at 10 on the front, 450 on the back. Dampers are 7 to 1, and then on extension, 7 7. Anti roll likewise on 7. Camber and toe neutral to get as much tyre contact to the ground as possible. For the gearbox, we've got an auto setting of 230. For the individual gears, I don't think I've adjusted those. No, I don't think so. And a final drive of 3.9. For the diff, maximum initial torque for that blistering launch, high acceleration and low braking sensitivity. We've got a torque split of 35-65. For power we've got all the upgrades and uh, I will be using NOS. I know some of you don't like to but I will be using NOS as always with all of my drag tunes and you definitely want weight loss on this car. Traction control is turned off obviously and I will be using an automatic gearbox. Again, I know most drag racers prefer manual, or most if not all, but uh, I like to use an auto just to show, you know, this is the worst the, the, that uh, the, 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 <laughs> that the car can be. So if you use a manual, it, you can only be quicker, really. So we're going up against another tune for this same car. It's actually uh, going to be going up against my top speed tune for this car, which I ha like the Mazda yesterday, I haven't actually released yet. But uh, yeah, so we'll be going on 35. So as you can see, the torque split and suspension primarily make the big difference, well, and the differential, but um, it makes a big difference to the launch. As far as the top speed, the top speed on both is similar because I use essentially the same gear settings. Uh, it's mainly the suspension and the diff which are different um, because obviously with these suspension settings they don't really lead to it being a very good high speed uh, handling car because it's just not designed for that. As far as its specs, slightly quicker off the line than the Mazda yesterday. It does not 60 in 1.6 seconds which still for a wagon is seriously rapid. It does not to 100 in 3.6 not to 150 in 7.8, which is actually quicker than the Mazda yesterday, but considering this has virtually 100 horsepower more, that's not too surprising. It does not to 200 miles per hour in 15.4 seconds. Not to 235 in 26.8, which is actually only 0.1 slower than the Mazda. Uh, it does the 400 meters or the quarter mile in 8.6, which is the same as the Mazda yesterday. It does 1,000 metres in 16 seconds. It does the 1,600 metres, or the standing mile, in 22.2. And uh, finally, it does 0 to 240, which is essentially its max speed with NOS. It does a little more than that, but essentially 0 to 240 in 31 seconds. So I'm sure some of you are probably thinking, especially Stager, Stagia, I don't care, fans, are probably thinking, why didn't you use the Ortec version? Because the Ortec does have, you know, it's better looking, it has more torque, it's closer to being a GTR. Because for any that don't know, the, the Stager is essentially a Skyline with a boot. So, um, why didn't I use that version? Well, although it does have more torque, and I think it has fractionally more power as well, it weighs a lot more. And as much as power is important in drag racing, weight is also hugely important. So... Who knows, maybe this, the Ortec version is slightly quicker, possibly, I'm sure some people could get it to be quicker than this one, but I would rather save that however much weight it was than for the sake of having a couple of horsepower more. So yeah, hope you guys find this tune setup helpful. Uh, if you did, feel free to subscribe, I put out new tunes every day, and as always, thanks for watching.